Um, well, thank you, Tom, for, for the generous words. Tom Gullickson has been a friend and mentor and a coach of mine for half of my life, and, and I'm proud to call him my friend and, and to be on the court with him today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of the, the great members of the, the Committee of the Hall for, for allowing me the, this honor to be here today and, and to be in the Hall of Fame. This was something that my family and I will be able to enjoy over time, and I really appreciate the honor. Thank you so much. I'm going to go a little faster because they just tell me in my ear I've got about four minutes to go, and I do TV, so I know that. I know what's going on. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to congratulate Yana and Butch and Yannick for their position in the Hall of Fame. Well-deserved all. Uh, very privileged to go in with the great class of 2005, something I certainly won't forget. You have to, you're forced to reflect when you come into a, a situation like this on, on where you are and, and how you got here. And, and I've been really lucky in my life. I, I've got to find my passion very early in my life and pursue it. Uh, with abandon, with no restrictions, and Yannick hit the nail on the head. He, he took sort of the wind out of my sails, but, but we feel the same thing. People ask me, what kind of sacrifices did you have to make? You know, what was it like giving up your childhood? I didn't give up my childhood. I got to do everything that I wanted to do as a result of following tennis. My parents, my sister, my brother, on the other hand, those were the sacrifices. The, the weekends, three weekends out of four, my parents, working parents, both packed up a car and, and away we went. My sister, whether she liked it or not, she was in the car with us. My poor brother, getting his diapers changed in the middle of the highway, going to the next tournament as he was going. Um, those were the sacrifices. They're great memories from those sacrifices. Uh, I, I mean, I hate country music, probably because my dad would take me to tournaments on Monday when I was in the finals and play those eight-track tapes of Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. and Those are great memories, but I somehow still hate country music, but I, I love those times. My mom, where I get my preparation and my discipline from. Uh, you want a list made, check with Linda. If I had an 8 a.m. match, I'm telling you, 6 a.m. on the dot, Raisin bran, sliced bananas, skim milk would show up wherever I was sleeping. I would eat it, I would not be happy about it, I would go back to sleep for another 30 minutes when she would get me up and then we would go and she would feed balls to me and warm me up. Uh, I hate raisin bran to this day. <laughs> Love those times though. There's, there's some forks in the road that you take uh, as a tennis player, many forks. Uh, I've been given great opportunities, there's so many people here and I'd love to, to give you a dissertation on all of them, um, but I'm only going to be able to mention just a few forks in the road that have, that have gotten me to where I am. Uh, when I was 11 or 12 years old, I went to, to Harry Hopman's Tennis Academy, and, and my mom asked if I could come back and, and come back for free. And Harry Hopman and his wife, Lucy, allowed me that privilege to go and play. Because in Dade City, Florida, where I'm from, there just aren't that many good tennis players. There never were, and there probably won't be uh, too many coming forward. Hopefully there will be, but I was able to go to Harry Hopman's and, and participate with some of the best juniors in the world and watch some of the best pros in the world. And that was, that was a prelude to a few years later when I received a phone call from Nick Boletari. And Nick, who's here today? Hi, Nick. Nick changed my life, undoubtedly. Nick's changed a lot of people's lives, and, and none more than mine, because Nick gave me an opportunity to, to go away from home, which was a huge sacrifice that my parents were willing to, to allow me to do. It was everything that I wanted to do, but he opened up the door for me, and he let me come down and, on a scholarship and, and be coached by the best people in the world, play with the best players in the world, be in the right venue to grow my tennis game and take it as far as it could go. And I had no illusions of standing in front of you here today when, when Nick called me. It was just about trying to become the best tennis player that I can be. Uh, Nick Boletari allowed me uh, the opportunity, and I'll, I'll never be able to, to thank him enough, but I'm so pleased he could be here for, through his busy schedule today. And, and great people I met at Boletari's, Dr. Jim Lair, who has been a friend ever since he's here today. Um, the U.S. Tennis Association took me on the road when I was 14, 15, 16 years old to Japan and to Italy and to France and to England and opened up that world to me and, and gave me great times with their coaches, with Nick Saviano, Tom Gullickson, that's where I first met Tom when he was working with the USTA, uh, Jose Higueras, Brad Stein. I could go down the list for people that, that really 
pointed my ship in the right direction. And, uh, you know, I can, again, not thank them enough. Uh, but I'm going to try by continuing to give back in this great game of tennis to, to do so. Um, I was really lucky to put together sort of my dream team in my early 20s for my team around me. And I had Jose Higueras and Brad Stein and Pat Atchaberry really take me from a player who was a talented player and turn me into a world-class athlete and a world-class tennis player who understood what these lines meant other than just an opportunity to hit the ball but actually see the court in a different way. It changed my life. Um, I've got a lot of things in here I'd like to tell you, but um, I think the, the one thing that I'll have to sum up here as we run out of time is, you know, there have been, I've had incredible highs. I, I've had agonizing lows in this game of tennis, but I've always been alive. Tennis allows you to feel things on a daily basis that in the business world, in the real world, probably just aren't as possible. And, and I'm so grateful that I've uh, had that ability to feel in my life. I, you know, we get one turn through this. I, I feel very fortunate. The friendships that I have made uh, throughout the world and that I keep, they're all through tennis. Um, I'm going to read something that I wrote because I knew I wouldn't be able to remember it on the cuff. And, and I really wanted to say it exactly the way I was feeling it. And I feel it now. And, and that is, you know, what I have lived is more than I could ever have hoped for. Because so many people have nurtured me, they've guided me, befriended me, pushed me, calmed me, challenged me, encouraged me, and most of all, believed in me. And so many of them are here today. I'm thankful for that. Some can't be here, which is a shame, but, but that is, some are gone and some are just not able to be here. But from the deepest place in my heart, there's a big thank you for everyone who's touched me.